everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to do a vlog style of what I eat in a day. Many of you will know that I'm studying at the moment, so I am going to tag onto this video what I eat in a day while studying because it is a little bit different to what I would eat on a normal kind of day when I'm just flying around the house and I can be active. At the moment, I'm very stagnant. I'm sitting in my chair a lot and yeah, it's a little bit of a sad situation. But the Leave and Cert, the Junior Cert exams are coming up. Do they, do they still have a Junior Cert? I don't even know. But I know that people are going to be setting exams shortly, so hopefully this will be really helpful for you. Before we go any further, yes, I look like an absolute grease ball. I've used that Tresemme hair rescue mask. Do I have it? This mask, and it smells absolutely incredible, but I am literally slicked up to the last. I feel like I'm going to the Oscars with my slicked back hair. So you've already seen what I've had for my breakfast this morning. So every morning I get up and I have essentially the same breakfast. I'm not even gonna lie about that. It's the same thing. It's always porridge oats, it's always soy milk, and the only thing that would change is the toppings and the fruit that I would put on it. A lot of people are afraid of carbs in the morning. I'm not. I feel like they give me so much energy to keep me going throughout the day. It kind of depends on what your body responds well to. Some people will be hungry after an hour if they just had porridge and fruit in the morning. I'm kind of lucky in the sense that I can just whack my breakfast in the microwave and I'm kind of ready to go. But the reason that I love my porridge and I love to eat carbs in the morning is because I need to fuel my brain at the moment. When you're studying, there's nothing worse than being hungry. Your brain is using up so much glucose in order to help you remember and study well that we need to be feeding the brains. But I love to start my day on an empty stomach with some warm lemon water. Your body retains warm water better than it does cold water by the way so it actually helps you to stay extra hydrated. Vitamin C is so great for your skin for fighting off colds and also this is brilliant for digestion. I haven't gone into a ton of detail about my kind of digestive issues but I suffer a lot from bloating and actually a slow digestive system so starting off with lemon water in the morning helps me to get everything moving. I don't mean literally moving that is disgusting. God. I just mean waking my system up and getting that digestive juices flowing. God, that sounds even worse. Okay. For now, the time is coming up to half past 12. I need to collect my Fitbit because it is on charge. We are going to rock up to the gym, bang out a 40 minute sesh, and I will take you along with me to show you what I do in terms of my workouts. Now, all my workouts are my own home workouts. I design my own workouts for what kind of suits me, my routine, and what goals I'm trying to achieve. So this would be a very much of a cardio, kind of strength focused workout today. I keep it very home workout friendly because that is essentially what I'm doing. I'm at home, but I'm getting my workouts in. So let's get going and let's get our sweat on. feeling that when you're finished your workout and it's time to eat. <laughs> oh god, I'm so embarrassed. Before I went for my shower, I grabbed an apple and I just chopped it up with like this handy dandy kitchen gadget. I don't know if I'm the only one or if we're the only household who has these kinds of things in their presses that get used maybe once a week, but when you use them, it's like, oh, they're so satisfying. <laughs> so I had an apple because I have a tendency when I get kind of peckish to go for things like nuts and dried fruit and just kind of snack and pick on random crap basically. And so you're just kind of doubling up on wasted calories there. So I'm trying really hard not to do that. So the apple just kept me like nice and satiated just while I got my shower and got myself kind of put together for the day a little bit. But now it is time for the major feed of today. I don't know what I'm pointing at because there's nothing here. So I'm going to have today brown bread, salmon and capers with a little side salad. Typically I would have my own brown bread. I leave a recipe to that either in the description or in a card above my head somewhere. But lately I've been having kind of issues with bloating from we think gluten. I'm on kind of a program to figure out what it is and what's causing the bloating after I eat certain things. So we bought this free from bread, which is essentially paleo bread. It's dairy free, it's wheat free. So I'm going to try this today and see how I get on with it. Thank you. 
I feel like when you add healthy fats with avocado and healthy protein with your salmon and your eggs, it keeps you feeling so full for so long. I've been sitting at my desk for about an hour now and my back is starting to get really, really sore. I would suggest, this is my own tuppence worth, if you are sitting at a desk for long periods of the day, whether that's in work or if it's studying, try and get up and move at least once an hour. My Fitbit is brilliant for letting me know that I need to actually get up and do like 250 steps, which is nothing. But actually when you get engrossed in your work, it's quite easy to completely ignore that you need to get up and move. So I'm gonna get the runners on and head out for a little stroll and take Rosie with us. If my memory serves me correctly, I think I actually spoke about eating tomatoes as study snacks in my study with me video that I did this time last year. God almighty, it's been a year already since I was doing my LSE exams. But I talked about this as a great source of hydration and vitamin C and tastiness when you just want something light while you're sitting at your desk. People always think I'm a little bit of a weirdo for eating tomatoes like this. Oh well. On a side note, before I forget, hello Miss Rosie girl, are you sitting behind me? I really wanted to show everybody my little pantry organization that I've been working on lately. Pantry, pantry I say, my press, because that's about all the space my mother will allow me in this house. I do need to buy a couple more little containers. I really dislike bags. I don't know why, I just think they're really untidy. So I would like to be able to stack these things a little bit better than I already can. These jars are handy because they're airtight and usually I forget to close bags anyway. So that's really great. And also a brand new bottle of apple cider vinegar. I can hear mom just going, yay, there you go. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar has been something that we've been incorporating into our routine a lot more lately. I usually take about a shot in the morning. I'm like, I'm so cool sitting there with like my shot glass. Apple cider vinegar has so many benefits. It's great for regulating your blood sugar and keeping sugar cravings under control. It's a natural antibacterial agent. It's a natural antiviral. It's great for your digestion and it also helps with weight loss. So that has been a little staple on my salads and also in our morning routine. Oh, please stop doing this. You're going to have very deep wrinkles when you're an old man. I'm doing a lot I eat in the day with hit workout while I study video. What's that? Today is news. Yeah, yeah. Those two are just gonna yap away in the background, but we will talk dinner. Lately, I've been loving salads for dinner. Big, huge salads, like we're talking this big. But when you're having a salad in the evening, I would recommend that you have something warm with that salad because you want to feel like you're actually eating a dinner and not just eating kind of a lunchtime light salad. So what I'm going to do is boil up some sweet potato and also just lightly warm some kale. If you actually either massage your kale with some olive oil or if you heat it up just gently, it makes it easier to digest. It's not so hard on your system. And I'm also going to cook a breast of chicken with some paprika. Dinner is served! Also from start to finish, this only takes about 20 minutes, so there's no effort involved in this whatsoever. Danny, come look at my dinner and see what you think. What do you think? Are you going to eat this? Excuse me, you're on you're camera. You're excused. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to taste a bit of the chicken just to see? Yeah. This bit here. That hasn't been touched by anything now. Open. I don't believe you. Open. <laughs> Green. Vegetables. <laughs> I eat it. <laughs> chew, chew, chew. <laughs> Anyhow, everybody. Lovely. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, I have my paprika, avocado, peppers. <laughs> on a serious note, everybody, let's actually have a look at what's in my dinner today without the commentary. Obviously I have my peppers here, I have my chicken with my paprika and turmeric, I have some avocado or avocado as Danny said. I'm also a massive fan of orange and pomegranate in any kind of a salad and I also have my sweet potatoes buried in here somewhere too. But overall I think it's just about eating the colours of the rainbow and eating as many different colour foods as you can with every meal. This is so colourful and so delicious to me. I know some people are not a fan of salads. That just means you have to make it work for you. So alongside eating the colors of the rainbow, I really try and make sure that I have a healthy protein, fat, and carb with every meal. So my healthy protein here is my chicken. My healthy carb is my sweet potato. And lastly then, I have my avocado for my healthy fats. Avocado is fantastic for your hair, your skin, your nails. Keep it. 
everybody and to finish off today's full day of eating i should mention actually that i had a handful of almonds earlier on just fyi but i'm going to have a square of the masa roth dark chocolate i only go for anything above 85 percent and then i also have just a slice of my own dundon brown bread with some peanut butter i am a peanut butter junkie it's actually kind of disgusting and it is what i crave in the evening just with a cup of tea and a square of dark chocolate the problem is that i sit there with the tub and just scoop and scoop and scoop. I'm definitely not the only one who does that. Like peanut butter is super addictive once you get into eating it. So I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time catching up on some telly, chilling out for a while before heading back upstairs to study. I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it was useful. I hope it was insightful. That is what I eat on a full day of study. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you back on my channel again. Bye!